Hey everybody, Bill Murphy here with NintendoOnly.com taking a look at Miklo Studio and Moving Players' hit mobile game being brought to the Nintendo Switch by Raw Fury, Out There the Alliance. I know, I know you get worried when you hear a mobile game being brought to the Switch. You're like, great, that's just what we need. Uh, Out There, for those of you that haven't played it on mobile phones or iPads or whatever, is actually not one you need to worry about. It has more in kin uh, with FTL and uh, some of the other classic, great sort of roguelikes, sci-fi roguelikes, than it does with anything else. So, um, so out there is is really well, it's out there. So I guess, God, I guess the best way to do it is just to go with it. Uh, it's been a while since I got to play this. In fact, the last time I played it, it was on mobile phone. But we're gonna go with. Uh, see, I haven't unlocked these other ships yet. So there's lots of ships that you can unlock. That's sort of the progression of the game. You start off with cargo. You know, low specs and everything like that. And you go. So you're a passenger on the line that connects Earth to Ganymede, a moon of Jupiter, yada, yada, yada. Bad things happen. So you basically get lost. That's the point of out there. You got to find your way home. Out there. So out there, Omega, the Alliance. I don't know what makes this different yet. But we're going to go find out. <laughs> so real simple controls. Okay, uh, I see an unknown space station. Is it of uh, alien origin? I may find help there. To reach the space station, tap on it and then tap orbit. But you could actually just, you know. So it's out of order. So I should look at the engines. They seem to be down. I shudder to think of what could happen if I can't fix them. Tap the ship display, uh, which is R. There we go. You can see so it's got full touch controls if you're in handheld mode. Uh, I'm playing it on docked, obviously. So, thank God they have controls for it. Well, there's quite a lot of work to do. Tap the interplanetary propulsion module and display its options panel. So, press A. And then, back it there. And repair. Thank God. Everything's in order. Let's take some time to fill the fuel tank now. Drag and drop hydrogen onto the fuel slot in the auto maintenance cube. There. Just actually hold A and drag it over here. Full of fuel. Fuel tank is now full. In the same way, you can max up your air recycling efficiency with the supply of oxygen. Okay. And iron can be used to repair the hull of the ship. Easy enough. Go back to the star system map. Press B. My ship is ready to fly again. At last, I can reach the mysterious station. So we're going to go tap orbit. Nobody here. There is, however, this alien cube. Now, these are like randomized events. It, it, this is a roguelike in the true sense of the word. Every time you play this game, every time you try to make it uh, back to, to wherever it is you're going, everything's going to be a bit different. Boys, me to a star. Does it mean I have to go there? So there we go. So that red star is where we're going to try and make it to. But we are far, far away from that. So you see the schematics of new equipment, the space folder. You learned the space folder. And you learn this technology, and as you do, it gets you more, it gets you, lets you get further and further into space. I don't have any, though, so I need silicon. They can dismantle the cryonics module to gather some silicon. Silicone. If I can travel faster between the stars, it won't be of use anyway. Now we're gonna dismantle it. Confirm. Good. Tap the free slot. Now we can craft a folder. It's working, I can't believe it. Now I'll be able to jump from star to star. The entire galaxy is within my reach. And you got an achievement when you did that. So tap the galaxy tab to display the stars map. This star map allows me to travel between the different systems. Green circle marks the range of the space folder. You have to upgrade the space folder, obviously. Blue circle marks the far reach of the telescopes. 
So let's just start to know more about it. So any one of these stars that you travel to um, could be something different could happen. So why don't we go to this one? It's really uh, a mystery what's going to happen. You know, it's like you're taking a chance, you're rolling the dice. It's like a single player RPG, a choose your own adventure story. So, my space folder teleports me right to a curious sight. Two large space butterfly creatures try to approach one another. Violent solar bursts force one of them to retreat and is about to be lost to infinity. Both of them are transparent, glowing in ghostly, pulsating light. So, I'm going to try to connect them. I shoot a wired rope delicately to capture one of the creatures and pull it back to the other. This, it is struggling, trying to break free, but when it sees my attention, it stops resisting. I rev up my engines and try to move a creature of such mass. This is a strange, a bit grotesque, but very touching spectacle for such an anchorite as me, seeing these mating games in outer space. After an hour of joyful dancing, they fly away, leaving droppings of strange matter behind. Great. I have uh, space butterfly sperm now, uh, and I lost 20 fuel. But I've gathered Omega. I don't know what Omega is, but we'll find out. So, uh, there are several planets in the area. Each one of these is going to take away some of my oxygen and some of my fuel. And in this case, getting close to the sun, it's risky orbit. Because I'm, but let's let's just go to the rocky planet. Let's land. Yep, we're going to get more fuel gone. Okay. So I could drill, which also takes fuel. Let's drill. Drill, baby, drill. <laughs> We get some iron, and I can't remember what TH is. Uh, okay. What I, what I need is fuel. At least I have some hydrogen. So we can finish. We can take off. And it takes more fuel and more oxygen to take off. Back to the map. Back to the star map. Let's go... That takes a lot. Let's go right to this red giant. So that we have enough fuel to get here, and I have fuel to, to fill my engines a little bit here. Space folder broke down and was briefly electrocuted, not by electricity, but by this mysterious energy that converts hydrogen into other forms of energy. My senses were dazzled. The whistle of the space folder exploded in my mouth like spicy caramel, and the light of its pulsating tubes felt soft like cotton. You can't imagine how hard it is to fix anything in this condition. Even now, two hours later, I bumped my head, and instead of feeling pain, I heard a choir of angels. Okay. So I made it here. Uh, let's take a look at my ship. Let's put some... Oh, yeah. That's right. I gotta drag it over there. Doesn't really give me a whole lot of fuel, though. Give us some oxygen. Okay. Everything else, I, I mean, I don't know what to do. We don't have a lot of fuel. So we're hoping. It's rich in metallic ore. That's rich in fuel. Let's go to the gas giant and take our chances. And let's probe it. Probe it with all our might. And we got some fuel. Perfect. And we can actually take our fuel... makes it a little bit easier back up the hull see the hull got beat but that's okay we're going to take our next jump to the supernova that's going on right here you can see how addictive this game can get I unlock something iron termites yes I know how crazy that sounds I've dug holes all over the ship that's wonderful a lot of devices out of order, and one of them bit me. It was unpleasant. I hate everything. But the drill has been destroyed. I have gathered iron, and some equipment needs repairing my telescope, which is just wonderful. So the supernova is rich in fuel, very dangerous atmosphere. That's rich in metallic ore. Let's go in here. Let's try to repair it. Good. Uh, I do have a little bit of fuel that I can put in there, but we're going to have to get more, otherwise we're screwed. And I do have to fix my hull. Oops. Oh, can I just press Y? There we go. That's easy. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, so... 
let's do the thing. Let's go get the fuel and risk. Uh oh, ship was destroyed. My hull was completely destroyed. Code Reds will be my last entry. The hull is disintegrating and the whole ship is losing pressure. I'm putting my spacesuit on right now to allow for a couple of extra minutes of survival, but this is still the end. So long. May mankind someday find my logbook, the testament of one of their brothers who fought until the very end. So what happens now? I managed to visit four star systems. I was crushed. Uh, technologies learned only one. No spaceships used, no stars destroyed, no planets terraformed, no wormhole jumps, no alien races discovered, no last chances, no humans saved. And after that, you just hit A, restart, and away you go. This is after you get the cube, and everything else between where you start and where you go is going to be different now. So we'll go to a different yellow dwarf and see what happens. And the, the thing is, you're just trying to get further and further each time. Huge abandoned metal city floating in space. In the middle of this deathly silent city floats a huge white ring. Uh, let's go to the ring. Pass through the ring and suddenly find myself in the station, floating in open space. I've been transported back to the original system where I arrived in this cursed place. It'll take ages to get back where I was. Oh. I'm back to the beginning? No, yeah, that's fine. So we do need some... We're going to need fuel. Let's do that. Let's get the fuel. Probe. Boom. Transfer all. Let's fill her up. Perfect. Back. And we can make it to the neutron star. No, we can't. Can we make it to the supernova? Yes, we can. You can skip that. That's easy. Fascinating. There is a space station hiding in the low orbit of the star. Somehow it appears completely immune to flares and stellar eruptions. Let's fly to the station. Calculate a course that minimizes my exposure to the star's fury. Suddenly, stellar filament lashes out from the star. I fly at top speed toward the station, hoping it will protect me. The filament crashes over me, but somehow I survive. I dock with the station and explore it. Not a soul aboard. Uh, I can't take it with me. The station would collapse, but I thoroughly document the technology. Carry out some repairs before returning to space. So I lost some damage there. I, got, I did learn how to get a shield generator and avoid fluctuation projector. Nice. Let's... Uh, let's see here. Boop. You repair the hull. And we have rich in metallic ore. We land. We drill. And we transfer it all. Back. We take off. Okay. Repair my hull. Refuel. And there is another place that we can go to. That's a risky orbit. That's a risky orbit. Probably safer. Probe it. Launch probe. Transfer all. Voila. So as you see, the, the, the actual cycle is extremely addictive. It's really simple. You try to keep your ship intact while you explore. Keep it full, keep the armor good, and then just keep moving towards that red star, the red point that the white cube is sending you to. Damnation! The space folder seems to be broken, it just won't stop. I'm trapped in a one-dimensional plane where my ship slides between two stars. To the bow of the ship I see a strange blinking light. So, should we break the space folder, wait and see, or contact the light? We'll contact the light. <clears throat> It's a sentient life. After a few replies, the one-dimensional beings tear the space-time continuum and return me to real space. I met an alien, but maybe not. <clears throat> so the Yellow Dwarf is a dangerous atmosphere, but rich in fuel. This one is rich in metallic ore. I think we're going to take our chances. We're lucky. There's literally nothing to do here? Nothing to do there. Huh. Let's go back here. Land. Confirm. Drill.
take back off. And let's see if I have enough uh, fuel here. I don't really, do I? Some helium. Which did, did a pretty good job, actually. Some stuff for the hull. And away we go. Next to the blue giant. I mean, I could sit here and play this all night, to be perfectly honest. It's, it's one of those kind of games. Let's inspect the exterior. Strangely familiar wall paintings tell the story of these people. The creatures were like me, bipedal with two arms. Evidently, some ray destroyed their sun, and they had to leave the planet and flee in large spaceships. All the colonies died out one by one beneath a wall painting. I see a small word brick flipping its pages in the wind or a few simple words I collected two oxygen and I learned a wormhole wormhole generator so here's the cool thing you have an empty ship and I have all this tech but I don't have quite enough stuff to make it I can't make cryonics I can't make a shield gener I can't make a void a void fluctuation projector or a wormhole generator uh, what I can do is go into orbit of this breathable planet and I've refilled my oxygen supply and we're going to try to drill and we get some cool stuff I got some gold it's never a bad thing Go. We got some gold. Yeah, baby. All right. Take back off. Where's my fuel, though? Do I have? I have zero fuel still. That's the. That's kind of a problem. We're in trouble if we can't find some fuel. So this one's rich in fuel. I really hope it's really, really rich in fuel. There we go. And I'm almost out of fuel. We need to take this one, I think, and drop it. Goodbye, tungsten. <clears throat> okay. There we go. And I think we should probably probe it again. We didn't get much. Enough, though to go on our next little journey. We're going to go to this red dwarf, see what happens, and then call it a night. Ooh, look, fantastic. I was fixing something outside when an asteroid slammed me away from the ship. They can be difficult to spot on the back. A black backdrop of space. The good news is it wasn't going too fast. Bad news is, in order to save myself from being hurled away from the ship, I locked, I hooked myself onto it with a soldering iron. I'm alive, but now there's a hole in the hole. <laughs> Never anything good. I need fuel. So we go here. We probe. We take the fuel. Ugh, it's never enough. And the pressure destroyed the probe. But I did get platinum. So I'm going to need that. Got my probe back. Don't have nearly enough fuel. Need to do more. And I'm not getting enough. Let's try six. One. I mean, just... Not good. Not gonna make it very far. Okay. Well, now what? At 13. Let's see, see... Let's see, uh... Let's go to the supernova. Takes almost all of our fuel. Why not? We'll wing it, right? On my own, I have charted more territory than any human explorer in history because I will find Earth again. I know it. No, we won't. We have no fuel. 
This is the end. Let's fill up our oxygen. Let's fix our hull a little bit. And let's go to our gas giant. I managed to get here with minimum resources spent, shall I think? Supreme powers for my survival? Alright, now I need to figure out how to replenish my resources. Launch probe. There's A. Okay. Launch probe. Another one. Launch probe. Okay, we're gonna slowly fuel up. There should be, I wish there was like a, an easier way to do this. That's kind of boring. Hull's beat. Oops, launch probe. We got some more this time. Launch the probe. Ugh, it's just no, no winning. You know, I need better fuel, but I don't, I don't get enough stuff. So, why don't we go to this planet that has a breathable atmosphere, we land, and we drill. Ooh, and the counter life. Look at that. I made an alien. He said blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. I approve. I have nothing of interest for this alien. He wanted to trade. I got nothing. We drill. We use the two of our fuel. We get oxygen and carbon and that's yeah, that's it. We're screwed. Totally screwed. We take off. Let's risk it. This will be the last entry around fuel. This is the end of the adventure. And folks, that is the end of our look at Out There, Omega, The Alliance. There's a whole lot more to this game. Those are literally the first two tries I've had at this game, and this thing you're going to need to play over and over again. It's very much like FTL. It's very much like uh, any roguelike that you can get addicted to, but it's not one that's all about reflexes or how fast you can pull the trigger. This is a casual thinking person's roguelike, and that's why I love it. Uh, so yeah, be sure to check it out. It comes out today as you're watching this video. It's out there on the eShop. This is sort of the brand new revised extended edition. Uh, if you've already played it on mobile, play it again here. It's probably been a few years. If you're like me, it's been a while since you remembered you even had this thing. So uh, give it a look-see. Give it a play. Out there, the Alliance from Raw Fury is out today on the Nintendo Switch eShop. I'm Bill Murphy. Don't forget to subscribe to Nintendoonly.com here on YouTube and visit the site once in a while. We're a nice little blog of reviews and editorials and interviews and all that stuff. We don't uh, we don't chase news hounds. We just write our opinions, and it's uh, that's what it's there for. All right, guys, have a good one.